Hello! In this video, I'll walk you through the steps for backing up and recovering SharePoint online data with Nakibo Backup and Replication. With Backup from Microsoft 365, you can now use Nakibo Backup and Replication to backup entire SharePoint online sites. Search for and retrieve the items you need for compliance and e-discovery purposes. Recover SharePoint online document libraries and lists back to the original or a different account. To get started, you should first add your Microsoft 365 account to the inventory in Nakivo Backup and Replication. To do this, click Settings, then Inventory, then Add New, then Microsoft 365 account. Next, provide the display name for the Microsoft 365 account. This way, you'll be able to quickly identify it when you're performing backups and recoveries in Nakivo Backup and Replication. Then, select the services you would like to backup. In this case, it's SharePoint Online. At the bottom of the Add New Microsoft 365 account page, provide the administrator name and password for the SharePoint Online account. Nakivo Backup and Replication also requires you to enter Azure Tenant ID, Azure Client ID, and Azure Client Secret. To obtain these credentials, navigate to the Azure portal. On the portal, you have to register a new application by clicking App Registrations. Then, select New Registration and provide a name for the application. Then, click Register to create a new registration. Once the application is registered, you immediately get the Azure Client ID and Tenant ID. Copy and paste those credentials to Nakivo Backup and Replication. In addition, you need to provide API permissions to backup SharePoint Online data. Go to View API Permissions, click on Add a Permission, Microsoft Graph, Application Permissions. First, search for Group, Read All, and select the item. Then search for Sites, Read, Write, All, Sites, Full Control, All, Sites, Manage, All, User Rewrite All. Finally, click Add Permissions, Grant Admin Consent for Nakiva. If you would also like to back up OneDrive for business and exchange online data, you should add the additional API permissions for these applications. Once you provide the permissions, you have to generate a new client secret. Go to Certificates and Secrets and click New Client Secret. Select the expiration date for the secret and name it. After that, copy the value of the generated secret and paste it into the Azure Client Secret box in the Kivo Backup and Replication. Finally, all you need to do now is click Add to add your Microsoft 365 account to the inventory. Now, wait a couple of minutes to get all the information discovered. As you can see, Nakivo Backup and Replication is successfully integrated with SharePoint Online. The inventory page shows the total amount of used storage space and the number of Exchange Online mailboxes, OneDrives, and SharePoint Online sites in your environment. The second step for running Microsoft 365 backups is to create a backup repository. To do this, click Repositories, Add Backup Repository, Create New Backup Repository. For Microsoft 365 items, Nakivo Backup and Replication provides the SAS Backup Repository. So, on the Type page of the Create Backup Repository wizard, select SAS and click Next. Then, provide a name for your backup repository in the Name box. Select the transporter that you want to assign to this repository from the Assigned Transporter drop-down list. In our case, there is only one onboard transporter. Note that when using the SAS Backup Repository, you don't have to run a transporter on the Azure Cloud to successfully backup Microsoft 365 items. The transporter can be a local one. In the Path to Local Folder box, indicate the folder on your local transporter. Of course, you need to have your path directory pre-created. The director also requires sufficient permissions for the Nakivo Backup and Replication user to be able to write to this location. Click Next and then Finish to create this SAS Backup Repository on My Onboard Transporter. 
the backup repository has been successfully created. Now let's go back to the SharePoint online environment. There are two sites here. Let's click the Nick test site and go to the site contents. The site content section consists of multiple document libraries with one subsite. Let's back up and recover the data in this SharePoint online environment. To create the backup job for SharePoint online data, navigate to the Nikivo backup and replication dashboard. Click create and select Microsoft 365 backup job. Now the backup job wizard opens. The wizard consists of the following five steps. Sources, destination, schedule, retention, and options. On the sources page, you can add Microsoft 365 accounts, OneDrive, SharePoint online sites, and mailboxes hosted in Exchange Online to your backup job. So I'm selecting Nick Test as the site that I want to back up. On the destination page, specify the storage location for the backup. You can choose a single location for all items in the backup or select different backup repositories for different items. In this case, I'm going to select the pre-created SAS backup repository as my destination. Now move to the schedule page to select the frequency of your backups. For example, choose run daily, weekly from the schedule drop-down list to run a backup job for this environment on a daily basis. Then click Next and move to the Retention page where you can set the retention policy. Nikivo Backup and Replication allows you to keep up to 4,000 recovery points for your SharePoint online backup. Using the Grandfather Father Son GFS Backup Rotation Scheme, you can create the end of year, end of month, end of week, and end of day backups and store them for years, months, weeks, and days. Click Next and proceed to Options. On the Options page, you can specify the job name, define pre and post actions, and limit the transporter load. Here you can do such pre and post actions as sending job run reports, running local pre-job scripts, and running local post-job scripts. So enter your job's name, click Finish, and then Finish and Run to proceed with the backup of your SharePoint online site. The backup starts, and after a couple of minutes, you can get the results. When the backup job is completed, go to your SharePoint online environment and remove some data. For this walkthrough, I'll delete Document Library 1 and empty the recycle bin. Now let's recover the document library we just deleted. To do this, go to Dashboard, click Recover, and select Microsoft 365. There are five steps in the Microsoft 365 Object Recovery Wizard. Backup, Recovery, Account, Objects, Options, and Finish. The first step is to select Recovery Points. On the backup page of the wizard, you can select a backed up Exchange Online mailbox, OneDrive, or SharePoint Online site using either a backup repository or Jobs and Groups view. I'm going to select the Nick Test SharePoint Online site and choose the Recovery Point. In my case, there is only one Recovery Point. The next step is selecting a Recovery Account. Choose the Microsoft 365 account to which you would like to recover your items on the Recovery Account page. From the drop-down list, select the account you want to recover to. The drop-down list shows all accounts in your inventory. In my case, there is only one recovery account. On the Objects page, you can browse or search for items you need to restore. Use the Navigation page to locate your items. Just select the object in the Navigation pane and view its contents and subfolders in the right pane. Now you can preview all the items available for recovery. As you can see, Nikivo Backup and Replication has successfully backed up two document libraries and one list. So let's try to recover Document Library 1. On the Options page, specify the location to which items will be restored and overwrite behavior for folders. You can recover to the original location or to a specific site. In my case, I'm going to select Recover to Original Location and rename Recovered Item if such item exists option. Next, click Recover and the job will immediately start. You can monitor its progress by navigating to the Activities tab. In less than one minute, the recovery process is complete. 
Let's check if Nakivo Backup and Replication managed to successfully recover the Document Library to SharePoint Online. As you can see, Document Library 1 is now recovered and there are documents in this library. To learn more about Nakivo Backup and Replication, go to nakivo.com and find out how easy it is to protect all your virtual, physical, cloud, and SaaS workloads with an all-in-one solution. If you would like to try Nakivo Backup and Replication in your own environment, download the 15-day trial with no feature or capacity limits.